Earlier this year, I built this 3D printed small scale hydroponics system. And so many of you watched my video on that. Thank you so much. I hope you liked the video and maybe it was even a little bit useful to you. But now I have to tell you, this system is rubbish. Okay, maybe not complete rubbish. The plants grow like crazy, but this system has a number of drawbacks. So I designed a new one. And in this video, I want to find out if this is any better than the old one. A quick recap on how this works. There's water in this water reservoir down here. Well, it's actually not just water. There's also some of this green stuff in there, which says hydroponics on it. And then here on top, there's the substrate, which holds the plants in place so they don't fall over. Every few minutes, the water gets pumped up through this little pipe thingy into the top part, and then it slowly drains back down again. That's all. This is super heavy when it's filled with substrate. And that means that it's very inconvenient to disassemble and to clean it or even just to check the water levels. Also, it's not kitten safe. Our cats like to play with the substrate, so I had to put this whole thing into a different room. And now it definitely would be time for me to clean it. And since I really don't want to clean it, I decided I would do an upgrade instead. So what makes me think that this is going to be any better than the old hydroponic system? This hydroponic system is called a flood and drain system because it floods and then it drains down again. There are many other types of hydroponic systems, such as the nutrient film technique, where the nutrients flow around the, like the roots of the plants constantly. An NFT system can be as simple as some pipes with water flowing through them and some holes in the pipes for the plants to go in. But I think pipes are too big for my small system. Instead, I designed a 5 degree sloped surface with a water channel winding along it. The water channel is 30 mm deep, 30 mm wide and 5 degrees relative to the walls of the whole system. As it's printed with PLA, which isn't waterproof, we'll add a layer of epoxy. After the epoxy is dry, we can test how it works with water. Okay, this works nicely, I'm really pleased. Now for the plants. To get them to stay in place, we add a cover with holes. The stem of each plant gets wrapped in foam rubber.
what is the large hole for? In my previous hydroponic system, I wasn't able to see how much water was in the reservoir without taking everything off. So this time I've accommodated for that by designing this water level meter. With this I can easily see the water level depending on the height of this indicator. I originally wanted to use a wine cork as a swimmer, but it turns out that when the cork gets wet it sticks to the sides of this tube so I 3D printed one instead. I also coated this part in epoxy resin so it would be watertight. Wow, I wish you could feel that this is really smooth. Let's install it. Perfect. I've also 3D printed a small filter that covers the draining hole because as you might be able to see there's also quite a bit bits and pieces in there and I don't want them to clog up the pump. Fits nicely, we can put the plants back. Here we go. I present my newest 3D printed hydroponics. Instead of a flood and drain system, we now have a continuous water flow no substrate is required, which makes it very lightweight. This makes it super easy to disassemble, clean and maintain. I'm curious to see how the plants will like it. And since it's winter and dark, let's add some artificial daylight. Hey, you're still here. I'm so glad you are, because now I can tell you that this video is sponsored by me. Yes, I'm making the videos on this channel. If you would like to contribute and enable me to make more videos like this, I've just started my Patreon page. If you want, you can go check it out at patreon.com slash Don't feel pressured to pay anything, you can watch my videos for free at any time here on YouTube and that's completely fine. One last thing. Have you recognized the music in this video? Well, yes, that's Wintergatan. Wait, you don't know Wintergatan? Well, then you definitely have to go check them out. Martin from Wintergatan built a crazy music instrument called the Marble Machine and he's building an even better Marble Machine right now. And Wintergatan is now giving free access to their music to makers and content creators like me. So if you want your free license, go to wintergatan.net and check it out. That's it for today. See you next time on Matu Makes.